And we are ready for a Gardner Conference matchup here at the Hull Arena. Stingrays and Flyers. Fife have had the upper hand here so far this season, taking four points from their three visits. Stingrays trying to get a little bit of revenge after losing the last two in the shootout. And by one goal, they've been tight games between these teams this season here. Wonder if we're in for something similar tonight. Mayo is going to chase this one with Muir. Muir throws the first hit in the corner. Stingrays are trying to trap the Flyers in their own zone. Flyers will get the chance to clear it, although the pass towards Fleming is beyond his reach. Novato quickly on for Maya. Tanaka couldn't quite take it in. And then he couldn't take it away from Haynes. OJ gains the red line and dumps it in. And it's going to bounce back off the board where Brown will cover up. First real action of the game for Lozon. Switch to the near side and Havato. It's Havato trying to turn provider. Chilcott moves in and his shot isn't a very good one off the side of the goal. It'll come back to Chilcott. He'll send it back around the back of the net. Fleming's given it away in front. The puck is loose. Regan's made the save to deny Tanaka. And the Flyers have cleared it in a bit of a panic. And it's cost them icing. And no, it hasn't waved off at the last moment. Late decision from the linesman to allow play to continue. It was all very scrambly around Kevin Regan's net for a moment. It all came when Fleming was dispossessed as he tried to move out from behind the goal line. I believe it was Tanaka who got the shot on goal. There's a penalty coming here, and it's going to be the Stingrays going short-handed on a hooking minor. Sends it around. Pasha is to it. This time the Stingrays can't get it clear. Oh, and then it's missed by OJ, and the Stingrays will look to break, and it'll be three on one, led by Lozon. Fredericks in support. Lozon! <laughs> A simple finish made possible by lovely link-up play. And the Stingrays have their eighth short-handed goal of the season. We'll see it again. It was OJ who was dispossessed. And Lozon to Frederick in the return pass. And the Carl Lozon had the simplest task in the world. Only one defenceman back for the Flyers. And nothing they could do to break up the play. The Flyers will try and answer right back. Still on the power play. Moving in, shot from Gunn, and again the Stingrays get it cleared away. Penalty has ended, Chilcott is out of the box, and he's gone offside after he fed the pass to Meyer. Quite had the same effectiveness this season. And this power play has come and gone as Myers carrying it all the way through himself but he can't shove it under the pads of Regan and there's a quick whistle from Hogarth who thought Regan had covered up Towner can't get it out of the zone and Brown makes the save off the stick redirects it well to the corner Fulton tries the little wrap around and Brown was down and ready for it and he's able to keep it covered. The Flyers will be able to skate this clear. Lukasiewicz. Chips across, what an opportunity moving in for the Flyers. Kicked away by Brown and cleared away. And it was Reba denied. And again, the Stingrays were first to the loose puck after Brown made the save. Oh, look at that from Lozon. Goes for the shot and it's across the face of goal. That's Brown's best save of the period so far to deny Reba, who showed good speed. Tanaka off the bench to intercept. Tanaka, thought about the wraparound for a moment. He's going to keep hold of it. He skated a long way in possession. Frederick trying to take it from Auger. Lukasiewicz trying to take it back. Jameson tried to get it back to Towner, possession turned over, and the shot from Chamont on the backhand brings another save from Brown. 
Oh, Lozon's moving all the way through. Oh, I don't believe he squeezed that in. That's incredible. Carl Lozon. A goal that just never looked on. And he did it all himself. Fantastic solo effort. He's been in hot form in recent weeks. And that's just a lovely move around the defenseman. And I thought Regan had managed to kick it out at first. The Flyers defensive unit. Gonna have to be on their medal in this game. Oh, Havato is doing it all himself. And he brings the save from Regan. Flyers fancy a shorty, here's Fulton trying to make the move and Brown has got it saved in the crease and we're all going to pile in. Fleming's in the middle of it, Milam lending his support and Lozon is in a tangle as well. And it's Fulton and Lozon who are all over each other. Officials just getting rid of the goal. Are the gloves going to drop? Looks like the officials don't want to let them. They'll certainly be spending a bit of time in the penalty box, I would think. Oh, Carl Lozon trying to do everything tonight. There's a good chance for Fulton. And that little mini break opportunity. Took the pass well, but again, Brown has had a fine period. Both Fulton and Lozon will be sat for at least two minutes. Frederick controls it with his skate, goes for the shot. Right, it's the defenseman before it gets through to Regan. Final few seconds, enough time for the Stingrays to get another shot off. And they will through Frederick, and a good save made by Regan, and the puck slides back to him. And he deserves that good fortune for the great kick save he made to deny the one-timer from Frederick. Neil Haddo is watching in. His missus would be watching in, but she's fallen asleep. He's a Flyers fan from Section B. And also Gillian, Connie and Cole are supporting the Flyers. Unless something spectacular happens, your team is going to be two goals down going into the second period. And they're also going to be shorthanded for the first part of it. We're ready now to drop the puck at the start of the second period. Singray is trying to use this little bit of power play time through Osman. Haynes stumbles. Frederick moves it across. Jameson goes for the shot, it gets the tip. Doesn't quite bounce back to Meyer. Frederick again, he's got a good shot on him. Gives it to Meyer. Tried to flip it across, Auger with the intercept. And the clearance for the Flyers. That should just about do it for this penalty. Turcott delivers the hit. Novato trying to get it past Suriniemi, only as far as Reba. Pass taken in by Lukasiewicz, oh, that's a ripper. It's a beauty from Lukasiewicz to get the Flyers on the board. And it did take something special to beat David Brown. Does well to get the pass settled down. And it's by Brown in a flash. It will be a power play goal, five on four. Face off at win for the Flyers. Most of the play has been down at this end. Lukasiewicz trying to repeat the trick. And Brown is called upon to make a save to deny Haynes. I don't think the first one from Lukasiewicz made it as far as the netminder. The one from Haynes certainly did. Fulton, backhanded attempt, the puck's nearly kicked in, it's still sitting loose at the side of Brown. And finally he locates the puck and dives on top of it. And it's nervous times for the Stingrays, they're second best at the moment. 
This will be just the response that Todd Dutien was after from his team. They've upped the tempo and upped the intensity. And they're creating chances. And they're getting plenty of rubber on David Brown. Lukasiewicz will now come in to take this face off. And it's another draw that the Flyers have won, and it just keeps the pressure on. Reba. Haynes. Got Frederick for company. Sends it towards goal. Brown used his stick to knock it away. Moving in is Lukasiewicz. It's Sura Niemi who's put it in. Brown's not happy. But the goal was given. And it was Sura Niemi stepping into the play. And finishing it off. The fan up from the back. Brown, I think, was claiming that Fulton might have interfered with him slightly as the play was building up. No, certainly no danger of that. That looks a good goal. Fulton will try and send it all the way around. Jameson will keep it in. Send it towards goal and he got a deflection in front of Regan. And just went wide of the right hand post. Frederick. Sing race crowd still right behind the team. Knocks to Meyer. Osman is the screen in front of the goal. Frederick is the slap shot option. And it goes high and it drops. Off a player in front, a five player it hit. I'm not sure who it was. Now Milam, Reba, gives it back, Milam moving in, that's lovely! It's a go-ahead goal for the Flyers. Taken in superbly on the spin by Milam, and the finish beyond Brown. A complete turnaround in this second period, from two down, the Flyers are 3-2 up. It's all about Jamie Milam and the way he receives this pass that was played behind him. And then the little flick block aside on David Brown. Can't go much further than the blue line. Tanaka, he can backhand attempt. And it just goes wide and then a big collision with the post. And that is a nasty one. Ones really took the brunt of that. Pasha also went into the goal. We see that Tom Muir is back out onto the ice. He's been patched up. We'll take another look at this. You can see it's Pasha who hits the goal, and that's what forces the goal back into Chris Wands. He was behind the net. And certainly wasn't expecting it to come. Pasha just couldn't stop himself in time. You can see the back of the goal swing round. Pasha has got it out. Shot on goal, kicks away, and he'll come back out to Osman. Still time for the Stingrays as Osman shoots and the puck loops up beyond Tanaka. Reba will have to shoot now, he does. And it's comfortable and into the chest of Brown. And what a period it has been for the five flyers. A complete reversal of fortunes from the first. The Stingrays led by two goals to nil after 20 minutes. It's the flyers who lead by three goals to two after 40. Lukasiewicz, Suraniemi and Milam with the goals. I mean, the Stingrays have work to do. And here's Lozon. Down to one knee, but keeps the puck and moving into the slot. He'll get his shot away and it'll be deflected wide as Regan was looking to move to his right-hand post. And Bounce took it over towards the left and it went just wide of the post. Stingrace fans in good voice at the start of the period. And you feel the next goal in this game could be huge. And Reagan makes sure it wasn't scored right there. And it is now, and he will shoot. And it's blocked by Milam. And then Milam takes Lowe's on down, and that's a penalty. 
and Milam goes back in for extras. And we're going to have another push and shove. Galbraith and Surani Amy exchange words. The Stingrays are going to get a power play out of this. Cross-ice dump looking for Knox. Stingrays have it, Jameson. Big shot from Frederick makes its way through. Traffic in front of Regan, and he can't keep it out. A big slap shot from Frederick led to a goal last Sunday for the Stingrays, and it's done so again tonight. It'll be a power play goal. It's Osman who is arriving on the scene and getting across the eye line of Regan. And Tanaka will try and carry it out. He's tripped and that's going to be a penalty. Guilty man is Fleming and he thinks it's a dive. And it is a hooking call. And Fleming might just want to keep his mouth closed. I'm sure the referee will take too kindly to the flyers forward insinuating that it was a dive. Certainly doesn't want to get himself a 10 minutes tacked on. Well, we'll take another look and see what you think. The stick certainly does come across the knees of Tanaka. We'll slow it down for you at the, the moment of contact. So, you make your own minds up on that one. And we've fact got two minutes gone up on both sides of the score, but it looks like Tanaka is going to get the two minutes for diving. And we're going to get some four-on-four four hockey. So, four-on-three. Plenty of room out there, including for Reba all alone in front. Oh, he took so long to get his shot off. And Brown was able to make the save. And then he's able to reach around his goal and cover up. Milam knocks this one down. We're going to be back to five on four very shortly. Milam, side of the goal. Oh, it's banked in off Jameson. Sure, that hit the Stingrays defenseman, but the Flyers have got a go ahead power play goal. So, no sooner are we back to five on four. The pass fed across and it's in off the back of Jameson's right knee. Horrible goal for the Stingrays to concede. The Flyers have made the extra man count. Attempt has hit the referee. That might be the bounce the Stingrays need. Oh, and very nearly put into their own goal again by the Flyers this time. Puck bouncing off Hogarth, denying the clearing attempt for the five flyers. Stingray sending the puck towards goal. And Regan had to be aware after it came off Chris Wands, which by his left hand post. to Galbraith Galbraith trying to cut in front and he's done just that and put the Stingrays back level Eric Galbraith with a goal that brings the Hull Arena to life again and allowed to skate across the face of Kevin Regan and tie the game. Flyers defenseman waiting for a pass into the slot that never came. Eric Galbraith did it all himself. And a 
and it's another big goal for Big Eric. All oh, Stingrays leave the puck behind, dangerous turnover, and Brown has bailed his side out. And again, we're going to have some pushing and shoving, and Turcot is not a happy fella right now. I don't think anything's going to come of that. The Stingrays with a turnover that they can ill afford. All imports on the forward line for the Stingrays right now. There's Maya. Havato's one timer, well blocked. Havato will have another go. This one will go wide. Maya will rip one into the top corner. The Mayor of Hall is at it again inside the final minute of the game. Havato had one go, he had another that missed the target. And that one barely flew in from Jordan Meyer. Timeout has been called. And the Flyers are staring defeat in the face. 59 14, the time of the go ahead goal. It's a really good block from the Flyers initially. And the one timer from Meyer. How he managed to get it up and over. The glove of Regan, I'm really not sure. It was a tight angle and the puck coming back towards him off the boards. Boards are bouncy here, the shot that goes wide can bounce out into dangerous areas. Just waiting for the linesman who's checking that the goal is in place. Away to our right, he's happy. So, six on five, the Flyers net is empty, Regan's on the bench. And the Stingrays are 24 seconds away from a huge win that'll keep them above the Coventry blaze and move to within two points of the Flyers. Milam's long shot goes over the top. Haynes, the Stingrays will clear it away, it'll cost them icing. And that whistle went quite early. The defenseman only back at the blue line. Decisions normally only made when they have to reach the face-off dot. That might have cost the Stingrays a second or so. And there's only 13 of them left. Big face-off for the Flyers. You feel that Fleming's got to win this one. And he has. The Flyers might get a chance. Chamont plays it across, it's at the side of the goal and it's covered up again and there's just six seconds left. A lot of fans are on their feet and yet again Fleming will go up against Lozon. Fleming gets it back, the Flyers will get a shot away, it's blocked, spinning and shooting, and it's deflected out of play. And time has expired, and it's all kicking off. But the clock has hit all zeros, and the Stingrays will get the points tonight. It's an unsavoury finish as Reba throws a punch in on Pasha. Reba is a player that Pasha really admires. I don't think he thought too much of that response. But it was Frederick who got his knee in the way of the last shot of the game. Oh, and now Brown gives a little shove. And this is a bit of a nasty finish. Officials trying to separate everyone. It was Fulton getting in Brown's face, and Brown didn't like it. And he gave him a push back. But David Brown is a winning goalie tonight. And the call from Stefan Hogarth is for the players to go back to their benches. I'm sure the game is over. The scoreboard does say all zeros. I have to say, if I'm completely honest, at the moment the puck deflected out of play and hit the netting, I think there probably was one second left. But it looks as though the Stingrays are celebrating 
And that is that. Fulton is making his way to the locker room. I'm not sure if a penalty has been called or if he just doesn't want any more part of this. Certainly some players got involved in that in the end. It looks like Eric Galbraith is also being escorted off the ice. He got the fourth Stingrays goal at 56.08. Jordan Mayer got the winner at 59.14. Well, stay with us here on Holstein Race TV. We may have some penalties to bring you. We'll certainly stay with you for the man of the match presentations for both teams. So, third period scoring. Reba at sorry, Reba at 52-49 got the equaliser, following Fredericks leveler. So the go-ahead goal, following Fredericks leveler at 49-24. And as I thought, they have put a second on the clock. When the shot was deflected out of play and hit the netting, I did turn to see the scoreboard, and I did see a second left. So this probably is the right call. But remember, if there hadn't been that extra, well, the quick whistle from the linesman as the Flyers chased down an icing call, we wouldn't have had this second. But with the face-off out of the zone, it's almost impossible. Regan is going to go back in his goal. Tom Ralph is going to step out and get a second of ice time. And Fleming's not even going to try and shoot. And this game has now officially ended with the Hull Stingrays winners by five goals to four. So the scoring in this game went Lozon shorthanded, Lozon even strength, Lukasiewicz power play, Suroniemi even strength, Milan four on four even strength, Frederick power play, Reba five on four power play, Galbraith even strength, Meyer even strength. The odd goal in nine is enough for the Stingrays.